Hey guys, Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter, and today we are checking out a $33 follow focus. Now before we begin, follow focus systems are really more designed for film crews and not single user situations. If you're on your own, it's best just to use the lens most of the time. And follow focuses are really designed for someone to focus on focusing while the operator focuses on operating the camera. Um, that said, they're a lot of fun and they have some benefits over just using the lens. For instance, um, often some of these lenses, you really need to move your wrist to change the focus, which means you lose that contact and you're kind of doing this with the entire camera system. Whereas something like this, you A, have your palm onto the side, and I'll talk about this setup in a second, and you're able to change your focus without really um, messing with the stabilization of your camera. So with that out of the way, let's talk about this $33 one that I found on eBay and if it's worth it at all and if you should consider picking one up if you're looking for a follow focus. This particular unit was not branded on eBay, although I've seen it since I purchased it all over the place. So there's lots of little brands, newer and -E -E -W -E -R on Amazon has it for a little more, closer to 40 bucks, but you can find it all over the place, not just eBay and not just from China. The follow focus actually arrived pretty quickly, even though it was internationally shipped and it came in a box that said film equipment. In that box, I found the follow focus unit itself and a rubbery focus gear. Immediately, I started playing with it and really I only found one problem out of the box and that is that there's a little piece of plastic where they finish pouring into the mold and uh, that was interfering a little bit with things. So I just took a knife, uh, shaved off a little piece of plastic and I was back in business. There's little blue aluminum markers for the focus disc and I ended up bending those up a little bit so they wouldn't get close to touching the actual uh, follow focus knob. As for construction, it's actually pretty good. It's completely metal except for the actual knob itself and the gears. And one of the things I love about this follow focus is that it has a single 15 millimeter rod mounting point. So a lot of the ones you're gonna find out there have two 15 millimeter you know, attachment points. And usually you're gonna wanna go with two 15 millimeter rods to make that work. Uh, but with this one, you can just get away with one. And so a little setup like this is awesome. I don't have to have this massive rig to get a follow focus on my camera system. The knob to lock things down is a ratcheting knob, which I did not expect at this price point. So you can, once you're done tightening things, reorient the knob in any position to get it out of the way. While you can't reverse the gear, you can take the entire gearbox off of this little attachment point for your 15 millimeter rod and flip it around. So if you wanna change the focus throw and which direction it throws your lens, you can do that. Now the lens gear that came with this follow focus it has a completely different story. This thing is pretty terrible, although it does work. You can see I have it mounted to this Canon FD lens and uh, it does work well. And the way you attach it to your lens is you loop it through itself and then there's a tightening knob that will snug everything up. Uh, you can see it sticks out pretty far, so you're gonna have to deal with that and it's kind of annoying but it comes with something to attach to your lens. And I had some great results with everything that came in the box and not having to buy other focus gears. Although this is a compatible um, gear pitch, so you could use it with anything video related out there. Now let's go over this little rig setup and the system I'm using will work with any kind of caged camera. So for starters, I've got the A6500 in one of the cages I talked about in my A6500 cage video. And on the side, I've added this little 15 millimeter bolt on attachment. So this costs around 10 bucks. It's awesome. It's gonna allow you to mount a 15 millimeter rod pretty much anywhere on your cage. So you could use it for monitors or really anything. So I mounted it on the left side and I have a four inch rod, which you can buy a pair of them for like eight bucks on Amazon. And so I just have one of those and then I mounted the follow focus to it. And there it is, pretty straightforward. And the other beautiful thing with this, again, because we only have a single 15 millimeter rod attachment point, is I can loosen this up just a little bit, move the follow focus off of the lens, swap lenses, 
get it back in place and snug it back down and we're back in business. So it's really easy to swap out lenses. Um, a lot of the other ones out there with those dual rod setups, you're going to have to slide it in and out, unlock several things. And it's much more of a hassle compared to just moving it out of the way with one little twist and you're done. It's a lot of fun. And that's the main thing with this is, do you really need it? No, you can still focus very easily with your hand on the lens. But if you just want to have a lot of fun with focus, um, this is a hilariously fun setup to use um, if you're just casually shooting, even professionally shooting. And one thing where I found it really handy was um, when I kind of already got a shot set up and I was just following either my son or an object while I was moving, having this was really nice just to be able to compensate with my movement. And uh, essentially, if you're within a certain foot range where you're making changes, this is a lot easier to do than trying to do it with your hands. So um, great little follow focus, especially for $33. So uh, you can find links to this in the description. You can get them on Amazon or over at eBay if you wanna save a couple bucks, but wait for shipping internationally. So that is gonna do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think, if you found any bargain deals like this. And if you'd like to continue seeing hyper budget gear here on the channel, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.